Hey guys, welcome to the liberal hive mind. Leftoids, you might want to block your ears, close your eyes, and yell at the top of your lungs. This is not news for those with a leftist heart. This is a news for the beautiful, freedom-loving patriots who love to see justice in action. Not for you little authoritarian little gremlins. I have to admit, you tried it. What won't Democrats try is really the question. I think the question that needs to be asked in this specific context. What is it that Democrats won't do in their never-ending pursuit of stopping Stopping Donald Trump from becoming president. Well, one of the most brazen tactics this year was attempting to remove Donald Trump from the ballot altogether. Nothing says democracy like kicking your political opponent off the frickin' ballot. I know, I know, it sounds crazy and that's because it is, but hey, lunatic leftists be lunatic leftists. They've tried to kick him off the ballot, but it seems as though their efforts are falling flat, falling in vain, as every single court judges across the board, from left-wing judges who even buy into the narrative to more middle-of-the-ground judges, reject this pathetic election interference scam one after another. You hear that, BLM intersectionality ACAB leftoids? Donald Trump is on the frickin' ballot. How dare you? This has to be a joke! I cannot believe this is happening! We got some stuff to get into, so let's roll the tape. All right, folks, so we got some beautiful headlines this morning. Here's one. Federal judge tosses Trump 2024 ballot lawsuit in Rhode Island. A Rhode Island federal judge has rejected another challenge to former President Donald Trump's 2024 ballot eligibility. Obama appointed U.S. District Court Judge John J. McConnell Jr. dismissed a 14th Amendment challenge to Trump's Rhode Island ballot listing. John Anthony Castro, a lesser-known 2024 Republican presidential candidate, filed the lawsuit with several others in other states. Well, I guess that's important context. There are some never-Trumpers teaming up with these leftoids to take Trump off the ballot. We should definitely mention them, because they're arguably even worse than the leftoids themselves. But let's continue the article. In October, the Supreme Court rejected Castro's Florida appeal. Last week, the First Circuit ruled Castro lacked standing to sue in New Hampshire. Castro's lawsuits claim that Trump is ineligible for office under Section 3 of the 14th Amendment, which bars officials who, quote, engaged in insurrection after taking an oath to the Constitution. He claims Trump's candidacy will cost him voters and support. Judge McConnell based his decision on the first court's ruling that Castro was not a direct or current competitor of Trump when he filed his complaint. Thus, he has not shown that as of this time, or as of that time, that he had satisfied the injury in fact component of standing inquiry, the court ruled. The American people have the unassailable right to vote for the candidate of their they're choosing at the ballot box, something the Democrats and their allies driving these cases clearly disagree with, Trump spokesman Stephen Chung said in a statement. President Trump believes the American voters, not the courts, should decide who wins next year's elections, and we urge a swift dismissal of all such remaining bogus ballot challenges. So here's another lawsuit, this one in Rhode Island getting thrown out, mostly because the case had no standing and the person filing the suit is a complete moron, but in another state where the suit was filed effectively or properly, again, Again, close, but no cigar leftoids. Colorado Supreme Court will hear appeal of 14th Amendment case against Trump. The Colorado Supreme Court has agreed to hear an appeal of a lower court's ruling in favor of keeping President Donald Trump on the state ballot next year. The state high court's decision comes after Judge Sarah B. Wallace ruled earlier this month that Trump was guilty of engaging in an insurrection, but found that Section 3 of the 14th Amendment, which forbids anyone who engaged in such activity from running for office, does not specifically name the presidency. Part of the court's decision is its reluctance to embrace an interpretation which would disqualify a presidential candidate without a clear, unmistakable indication that such is the intent of Section 3, the judge wrote. After considering the arguments on both sides, the court is persuaded that officers of the United States did not include the President of the United States, she said. It appears to the court that for whatever reason, the drafters of Section 3 did not intend to include a person who had taken the presidential oath. If the court rules in favor of plaintiffs, Trump's name would not appear on either the primary election ballot nor the general election ballot in next year's presidential race. And so this ruling is probably the most interesting. It's currently being appealed in the Colorado State Supreme Court although I don't think we're going to see a different ruling there at all. The reason why this one I find is so interesting is because the left-wing judge in the state overseeing the case 
literally stated that she personally believes, it is her belief, that President Trump engaged in an insurrection, or at the very least, incited violence. That's her opinion, she's not saying it's a matter of law. Yet even despite her believing that, Section 3 of the 14th Amendment does not include any person who has taken the presidential oath. It does not apply in the case of the presidency. That is legal precedence. That means, technically, especially if the Colorado State Supreme Court rules it as such, that there's now going to be solid legal precedent to dismiss and throw out or reject every single one of these challenges across the United States. And of course, with good reason. And it's funny because leftoids have been arguing all over Twitter that Donald Trump should be ineligible from running. He should be blocked from even being on the ballot. Yet here we are, the most partisan of left-wing judges, essentially making it clear that they're all full of you-know-what. And that even in the case of Donald Trump being guilty of what he's being accused of in relation to in some erection, it still does not apply, and he will be on the ballot. You tried it, they tried it. Again, the leftoids tried it, but again, the leftoids played themselves. It's called congratulations, you played yourself. How many failed legal cases are we going to see here until people get the message that leftists have no intention of playing fair? How many witch hunts? How many frivolous cases? How many salacious documents? How many more examples do people need to come to the conclusion that the Democrat Party, ironically enough, is anti-democratic in nature, at least in its current iteration, in its current form? The proof is right in front of you, folks. It's never ending. They don't want to play fair. They don't want to play democracy. They don't want democracy in action, even though that's what they constantly say. They want the total annihilation, the total destruction, the total deplatforming and depersoning of their political opponents. That's what they want, and it is absolutely clear that that's what they want. I can see it. I don't pay attention to people's words when people say, oh, my democracy, oh, oh, my democracy, oh, let's protect democracy. You can say that all you freaking want. You can blah, blah, blah. I'm not paying attention to people's words. I'm paying attention to people's actions. And time and time again, the Democrats have proven themselves as anti-democratic, wannabe, despot authoritarians. And this is yet again another example. They tried everything to destroy Donald Trump in 2016. It wasn't enough. Did they accept the L? Did they take the L and move on, trying to build a message for the next election cycle? No. They engaged foreign agents and foreign spies to put together a phony dossier of uncorroborated, salacious information, frankly, just stuff they invented out of their own rear, let's be honest, and then they corruptly used that to get an illegal FISA warrant to spy on Donald Trump's campaign to then lead into a witch hunt, a special counsel investigation that went on for two years, which found absolutely nothing. They tried to impeach Donald Trump multiple times. That never worked. Now they're trying to indict him. They're trying to pull him off the ballot. In 2020, they caused chaos to erupt, pouring fuel on the flame, attempting to burn burn the country down so they could pit the whole thing on Donald Trump. They then changed the election system across every important swing state, and they continue to still yap about democracy. Give me a frickin' break. Every L that these people take in the court system or in the court of public opinion is one L after another that I will continue to celebrate as a massive W for freedom and real democracy. These leftist authoritarians are awful, and they prove it time and time again. Anyways, that's what I got for you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and possibly subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, friends, and I'll see you on the next one.